Thank you. And meanwhile, the Olympians of Jim Thorpe are getting ready to head back to school next. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes is live in Carbon <laughs> County with more on that. Kevin? Well, good morning, guys. Here in the Jim Thorpe Area School District, they've been keeping an eye on the numbers from the Department of Health, Department of Education, and they say that a program that they've had running for years has really helped them moving forward as they eye September 8th as their back to school date. The district has a true one to one initiative with laptops and iPads. This has been the case for the last six years, so the technology to facilitate virtual learning is definitely. Here, the primary concern for Jim Thorpe area has been shaping the buildings and guidelines to keep students, families, and faculty safe. Being able to focus on that and communication with the families for the last couple of months means they're ready and raring to go. We're asking parents to be flexible. We're trying to be flexible. This plan is built on shifting sands, and uh, we have to make sure that. Uh, we adjust, but once we adjust, let our parents know what's going on. We've been planning all summer. Teachers know what they need to do to make an excellent educational experience, both in the building and for the kids that are remotely learning. And we're just excited to have everybody back, and we're ready for September 8th. Now, the way the Olympians are reopening, about a third of their students have already opted for full online instruction. The other two thirds will take turns either Monday and Tuesdays or Wednesdays and Thursdays in person. Superintendent John Roshevsky tells me Fridays will be an opportunity for all students and families to review and get the most out of each week as the school year goes on. Again, one of the bigger challenges here for the Jim Thorpe area Olympians is going to be getting the teachers and students just back in the swing of things. They're confident that. They had a solid plan going into that March shutdown, which they'll carry over in even more confidence about reopening on Tuesday. For now, live in Jim Thorpe, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News. All right, Kevin, thank you.